Welcome and thanks for joining 2K Sports for a Friday night full of NBA action. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill and giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Ali LaForce. Just about halfway through the season, let's take a look at the East. You look at the Cavaliers, they're in fifth place, right in the middle of the conference. Still time to improve that positioning. Well, I think for Cleveland, they've stayed within arm's length of the conference leaders. That in itself is an accomplishment at this point in the season. You know, I thought maybe they'd have it in them to actually join those leaders this season. But you're right, it's still nice work considering where they are. And let's go straight over to the sideline for a report before they tip off. Hey, Allie. Well, guys, dramatic progression for point guard Darius Garland. A rough rookie season, but last year he became an all-star. He said it's just trusting the work that he puts in every day. And while his shooting is special, he said, quote, I'm an all-around point guard that gets my teammates involved. Brian? He's highly skilled, Allie. Thank you. Here in the middle part of the season, Grant, what are the biggest challenges for players? Well, B.A., it's mental, physical, and emotional fatigue. Night in and night out, you have to stay focused. With the amount of games teams play, all those back-to-backs traveling across the country, bringing it every time out can be difficult. A look at the opening lineup for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Darius Garland is out there with Mitchell, and it's Osman in at the three. And for Denver, Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr. They're the two and the three. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. And it's Murray in at point guard. Outside Porter. Jokic the screen. And Porter hits from deep. How about that smooth shot from the arc for Porter? He's got such a confident release and deep range, too. Outside Garland. Allen with a screen on Murray. And the shot is good by Garland. It's very difficult to slow him down defensively, especially when you have communication problems. Garland against Murray. From deep, Jokic. Not going to go that time. And it's Cleveland the other way. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Denver. Against this team last year, they took both games. A measuring stick of the median between conferences. Well, you said it. I mean, often it's the teams that are in the middle of the pack in their conference which more accurately show the conference's strength than a team at the top or the bottom. At least that's how I like to look at it. They get it again. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Jokic never lacking in terms of getting his body involved, throwing his body around, using that bulk and power to grab rebound. Now here's Mitchell, coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Allen, pass to Garland, and the call will be against Nikola Jokic. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. About a minute and a half into the first quarter. Allen a screen. Here's Osman. And Allen gets it to go. Boy, nice mobility from the five. Jimmy Allen is very active offensively. Whenever you talk about teams battling injuries, the Denver Nuggets really come to the top of the list. It's really prevented them the injuries they've had to keep players from reaching their full potential. Porter. Pass to Jokic. Fires the three. Another miss by Jokic. The Cavaliers have gone two of three from the floor. Garland against Murray. Here's Mitchell. A guy this team turns too often. Averaging almost 24 a game. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Well, if the Nuggets could just get healthy, they could be a real problem, Clark. Maybe even a title contender. You know, B.A., a couple of seasons ago when they were healthy, they showed what the potential could be in Denver. I mean, they were a scary team. But it's been disappointing recently to see Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. go down with different injuries. And that's had a significant impact on this team. Hopefully, we will get to see this squad at full strength. Because if we do... I think that would be a lot of fun for all basketball fans. Here's Mitchell. After the Nuggets picked up a basket just a moment ago. Six to shoot. Pass to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. 
and the defense, they have to honor Mitchell as a scorer. And when they do, it just opens up the passing lanes. Outside Murray. From the low block. And the jumper is good. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Mitchell. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And it's out of bounds to Cleveland. Cleveland ball. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in. If you're the D, don't let Mitchell beat you inside. Got to push him out further. Garland against Murray. He can't hit that time. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Outside Mitchell. Mobley on a screen. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Well, when you know it, you got to show it. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G slam cam. Jokic with a screen on Garland. Here's Murray. Mobley with the block. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. Puts it up. Misses off the right iron. Denver has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Jokic against Allen. And here's Porter outside. The rebound by Allen. The Cavaliers have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Back to Garland. Osman on the wing. Three-pointer. And the three-pointer goes. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. The Nuggets trail. Now Jokic. Scoring around 28 and a half points a game. A very talented offensive player. Back to Porter. Pass to Gordon. And here's Jokic. Shoots over Allen. And it's Jokic missing. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. As impressive as the numbers were for Mobley as a rookie, the consistency stood out the most, Grant. Yeah, no question, B.A. Mobley shows up and makes an impact every night. He just finds ways to help the team even when the shots aren't there. He's the type of player that fits with any system. Timeout called. The Nuggets. Okay, man. Let's make some noise for your Nuggets breaker. Getting ready for the Nuggets. Najee, he's checked in for Jokic. 
Brown comes in for Porter Jr. Highland, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Smith in for Jamal Murray. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Love is checked in for Jared Allen. Lavert comes in for Osman. Neto's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Rubio is subbed in for Darius Garland. Denver has gone one of four from deep. Here's Highland. Last game for him, he picked up 10. Down low, looking to win the drought, and it's good on the lay-in. You know, in addition to his blinding speed, Smith just drops dimes all over the place. He's really difficult to match up against in the pick and roll. Rubio passes to Love. Rebound by the Nuggets. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out, losing to the Clippers. And the win was there for them, but they just let it get away. Just couldn't make enough plays late. And you know, those are the kind of games that staying in that bad taste lingers, knowing you were in it, but not coming through down the stretch. Those are hard to get over sometimes. Naji, good. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Levert outside. Pass to Neto. Now here's Love. Just five on the clock. Here's Neto. It's rebounded by Naji. The Nuggets have got six of 14 in so far. Here's Highland. Let's the three fly. No good. Here's Neto. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Pass to Levert. Puts it up from 12. Love for three. They get it back. Levert, that's good. And, you know, we've talked about Levert's vertical before, guys. And... They're using it to be a force on the glass. Smith outside. Stolen by Mobley. Here's Neto. Two minutes remaining. Pass to Love. Two minutes. Now Rubio. Love, the screen on Smith. Just five to shoot. The shot by Rubio, no good. And for the Nuggets, they're shooting about 40% in the early stages of this game. And here's Gordon. Here's Naji, covered by Rubio. Naji, good. Naji's got six points. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Rubio with the ball, giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Neto, shot is good. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. The Nuggets have gone 7 of 16 so far. Rubio against Smith. 56 seconds left in the opening quarter. Here's Gordon. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And Aaron Gordon Grant growing up in the heart of Silicon Valley, San Jose. Yeah, Aaron, using that to his advantage, involved with some apps. Now, we've seen a lot of players getting into the tech world. Great to see guys like Gordon branching out into business. That free throw, no good. Aaron Gordon with one of the best scoring years of his career last year based on percentages. Um, still a very productive forward in this league. Reed's checked in for Smith. And he's good on the second. And, you know, I like that Gordon is a versatile guy who can play both forward spots. He's a terrific athlete who continues to improve. Here's Neto. There's a screen by Love. From the left block. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Cavaliers lead by five.
Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. That's what they've got him out there for, fellas. Now here's Gordon. 11 points for him last game against the Clippers. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You got to be able to hit the easy ones. And there's the foul. It'll go on Aaron Gordon. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Mobley outside. Levert outside. Five on the clock. There's a screen by Love. Levert passes to Love. Three-pointer off the mark. And that does it for the first quarter. Cavaliers ahead. Up five. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. through one quarter in this one. Had a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. And from the jump, they've also clearly been focused on running effective plays here tonight. And there's been a lot of high-quality distribution from them on the floor. The Cavaliers leading. Porter Jr. plays power forward with Jokic at center. Then it's Bruce Brown. And it's Highland in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Denver. From deep, Mitchell. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And here's Jokic. Coming off a 34-point game against the Clippers. Relentless on the glass. Boards are largely about how much you want it. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. Outside Garland. Pass to Allen. When you look at the age of Jared Allen, the way he's developed, he could be a top five center in the league very soon. Fantastic impact on the court he has. And Allen has the defense and finishing that you want from the center spot. Grip. Yeah, B.A., Allen can switch on the guards with ease. Great lateral movement and contest very well. Having a center that can do that is huge for a team. Free throw good from Allen. Boy, you know, when you look at the raw athleticism of Allen, very enticing. I mean, he's a quick-footed, shot-blocking big guy. He's got a great future in this league, in my opinion. Caldwell Pope's checked in for the Nuggets. Murray comes in for Highland. So both free throws good from Allen. And when you're trying to slow down a top score, often the game plan is to get physical. Grant, you would know better than anybody. What's it like in the trenches here? Well, B.A., it's interesting. I mean, it can wear on you. It's a mental challenge. When you're in the trenches trying to slow down a great offensive player, it really becomes a battle of wills. You have to stay focused. You have to be disciplined. And most importantly, you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going. Denver's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Reed. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. It's Jokic, high post. Pass to Reed. This one for three. It doesn't go for him. And Cleveland will come the other way. Here's Mobley. Now here's Garland. Allen with a screen on Murray. 11 feet out. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. The Nuggets have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Outside Porter. Stolen by Mitchell. Pass to Osman. The three ball. That one's good. Jenny Mitchell Osman. making the play. Mitchell's got three assists now in this one. 
The defense pays so much attention to Mitchell, and as a result, it opens the floor for everyone else. Now here's Murray, coming off a 16-point game against the Clippers. And his assist numbers were remarkable as well. His play is crucial to this team's success. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. And Mobley throws it down. Over his career, Mitchell has developed his playmaking for others. A great skill to have. Murray for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got six rebounds in the game. Oh, there's the alley. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Nuggets. And for all the purists, here's a look at the best free throw shooting teams from the stripe this year. The Cavaliers second. And this is a team that knocks down their free throws at an elite rate. Whoever they go up against should always try to avoid fouling them at all costs. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Murray passes to Jokic. And the shot's good. This is a big guy, a mountain of a man. I mean, Jokic is a sturdy, thick 284. It's going to take a bigger bump to disrupt this shot than that one. Now here's Garland. Last game for him, he had 14. Off target from the baseline. Jokic against Allen. Let's it go. And that one hits the back iron for Cleveland. They've gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. And you know, guys, I don't think too many people expected the resurgence we saw from the Cavs last season. It started with their defense. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, guys, the Cavaliers have surprised many with their ascension. Coach Bickerstaff said they had to be really patient through some difficult times, but his star center, Jared Allen, said, quote, no matter who's in front of us, big or small, we're going to go out there and fight till the end. Brian? Yeah, that's what got him here, Allie. Thank you. Well, in terms of their D, the Cavs have gone from one of the softer teams in the league to one of the toughest. Well, think about this. I mean, they're a young team. They play with tremendous energy, and we see that in the way they get after it on defense. Now here's Garland. An effective score for them, scoring around 21 and a half points a game. Pass to Mitchell. Who's watching here? For three. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got four rebounds now. And here's Murray. Jokic's the screen. 4-3. And it's Murray with the three. Murray's got five points in the quarter. And when you're trailing in a game, it, it can be tempting to try to go for the big play. Yeah, trying to get it all back in a hurry. And you're right on that. But these threes they're taking have not help. They're trying to catch fire. They've yet to find the match. Here's Caldwell Pope. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Murray passes to Jokic. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. Over Mitchell. And it's Jokic missing. Cleveland has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. And another miss by Cleveland. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Now here's Jokic. And out of bounds. The Cavs will take it. So a moment now to see the story for Darius Garland. Over the past 10 games, his effective field goal percentage has really taken a tumble. In layman's terms, his offense just isn't as well-rounded as it could be right now. Timeout called the Cavaliers.
It's a completely new group here for the Nuggets. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Love is checked in for Mobley. Karis LeVert comes in for Osman. Neto's checked in for Mitchell. And Rubio is subbed in for Garland. Cavaliers leading. Rubio passes to Levert. Trying to get back on track. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, Karis Levert reads defenders very well. This guy is an instinctive offensive player. Two shots. First one falls. And guys, over the last several years, Denver's been top 10 in offensive rating. Now, they played a slower pace, but made the most of their possessions. Both free throws good for Levert. Boy, this Denver team, great offensively over the last couple of seasons. How so? Well, B.A., they execute in the half courts. That's pretty simple. I mean, so difficult to do against NBA defenses. Now, normally they have multiple ball handlers on the floor. Guys who can make quick decisions. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Nine-point game. Pass to Brown. Into the lane. Six on the shot clock. Here's Highland. The Nuggets with another miss. Cleveland has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Here's Rubio. Now here's Levert. Defended by Brown. Love a screen on Brown. Here's Levert. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on Bruce Brown. You know, you can't go for that shot fake. I mean, LeVert is crafty and clever at using it to his advantage. you got to stay down if you're on defense. good on that one and after a few seasons of anemic offense the Cavs have finally started to turn things around yes they have and they made a big step forward now there's a nice balance to their offense He does not get the second one. Now, when we talk home court advantage, you think the Nuggets have the best in the NBA? I think so, B.A., and it has to do with geography. Denver is at altitude, and that's hard on your body. Trust me, I know. And they're isolated from the rest of the league, so it always is a long trip out there as well. I think getting Gordon to operate in pick and roll sets is wise. I mean, he's got a big body, which can cause problems for the defense. And his roles, because of his athleticism and good footwork, are terrific. Now here's Rubio. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And an emphatic jam on the lob. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Boy, I tell you what, guys. This is really getting close to being real ugly. Gordon outside. The three is up. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got six rebounds here tonight. Levert passes to Rubio. Back to Levert. 
Pass to Allen. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Fast break. Here come the Nuggets. Now here's Brown. Gordon with it. Covered by Rubio. Pulls it. Shot is good by Gordon. Gordon's got four points in the quarter. The inside is where Gordon is really most comfortable and effective. Very few defenders can get to a shot given how high he gets up on it. Love the screen on Brown. Here's Levert. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Highland providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Misses the three. Cleveland has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Here's Allen. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. That's his second personal. They've been so effective on the interior this quarter. That's how you generate consistent offense. One shot. misses. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Now here's Gordon. Five points in the game. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. 51 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Neto, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Drops a first. And so he hits both. 43 seconds left in the first half of this one. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Outside, Brown. Gordon with a screen on the vert. Brown passes to Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. And this is Gordon's sweet spot. An awesome dunker who loves getting in tight and wrecking the rim. Smith against Rubio. Pass to Love. Shot clock at five. Cranked it in off the glass. Love's got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, showing some strength on the finish. Love doesn't allow the defenders there to distract him. And that'll do it for the first half of play. The Cavaliers on top, up 11. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. The story tonight, everything, and I mean everything, is working well for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'll guarantee you something right now. They wouldn't be leading without their bench. That second unit came out on fire. I don't know if that's a guarantee or if you're just spitting facts. That's a guarantee, Ernie. And now let's talk about that first half. A look at the top performers from both teams so far. Not surprising to see two competitive guys who bring it every time they're on the floor. It's been a spicy duel to watch. Yeah, and uh, we know you like it spicy. No, I don't. Give me some milk. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And with a 
big gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. One guy who's been getting it done is Jamal Murray. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. On the court right now for Cleveland. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Mitchell out there with Darius Garland. And it's Osmond in at the three. Murray against Garland. Outside Porter. Pass to Jokic. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. And in 2022, team more history made by Nikola Jokic, the becoming the Nuggets. first player to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. And he makes a first. And Nikola Jokic breaking barriers at the center position, Greg. Oh, so true, B.A. That 2,000-1,500 season, it never been done before. The Joker's ability to be a facilitator at the five, almost a point center, we've never really seen that before. So he hits one of two from the strike. You know, one measure of Nikola Jokic's growth as a player is his triple-double tally. I mean, he's already among the NBA career leaders in that category. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Nikola Jokic again has won the league MVP, but he's not one to beat his own chest. He said, quote, I never think about it. I didn't come here to be the MVP of the league. I always think that somebody's better than me, and I want to compete to beat them. Just by that mentality alone, I'm the underdog every time. Brian? Well, it's working for him, Ali. Thanks. So it's the Cavaliers now. The Nuggets getting their last shot to go. Here's Osman. He's guarded by Porter. Here's Mobley. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Well, among active players, only LeBron and Westbrook are ahead of Jokic in triple doubles, Clark. And B.A. with a lot of runway left in front of him. I mean, the Joker figures to keep climbing up that list. I don't know if he'll catch Russ or the big O at the top, but he's going to be in the neighborhood. And here on the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Murray passes to Jokic. Again, Jokic missing. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Outside Mitchell. Let's go with a three. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Murray with it. He's picked up by Garland. Shoots from the right block. And he can't bank that one in. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Garland. With the teardrop. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. And now a 12-point Cavalier lead for Denver. They've gone just one of three in the second half. Murray passes to Gordon on the wing porter. Jokic in the post. Allen defending. Boy, that expansive reach of Allen. I mean, so good at positioning himself and using his length and timing to stifle shooting. Clock at six from deep Mitchell. He's off on that one. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Trying to get it going. Only one for five to start the second half. Outside Garland. This one for three. And it's Denver with a rebound. Porter's got five rebounds tonight. To the paint. Here's Jokic. 
perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Jokic just got five points now in the quarter. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. You're trying to close that gap. It's going to hinge on plays like this one, creating high percentage looks right inside. Osman. No good on the three. For Denver, they've got just two of six in the second half. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Jokic with it. Murray for three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. And he hits the jumper. Well, he's been waiting a while for that one. What a creative finish by Mitchell. You need the floater as a top scoring guard. The drive by Murray. Pass to Porter. Let's the three fly. The Cavaliers pull it in. Outside Garland. Allen a screen. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic just got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Gordon outside. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. To the inside. Here's Jokic. Uses the glass on the layup. Jokic has got 11 points. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Cleveland calls timeout. for the Nuggets. Naji, he's checked in for Jokic. Brown comes in for Gordon. Reed's checked in for Michael Porter. And it's Highland in for Murray. Side Rubio. And there's the lob. And Mobley throws it down. And right there, Rubio doing what he does. Seeing the floor, exploring the defense, finding the open man, and getting him the ball. Here's Najee. Six points for him. Here's Highland. Good on the shot, and that changed the lead to single digits. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Pass to Love. Back to Garland. Mobley on a screen. That one's good. Garland for three. Garland's got nine. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. 
Now here's Brown. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. A timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way in. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Cavaliers. They've been all about high percentage looks in this game, working the ball inside and doing whatever it takes to get it to go. And, you know, the more they penetrated, the more they realized the defense wasn't able to stop them, so they just kept doing it. And the free throw, no good. For Cleveland, they've got five of ten shots to go. To the middle. And Mobley throws it down. Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. Outstanding awareness and a terrific finish. Here's Highland providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Unloads. And he drops that one in. Five points in the game. Cleveland has gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. The vert left side. Second chance shot. And that's two points yeah, on the layup. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Here's Brown. Mobley with the block. And so the ball out of bounds. Mobley touched it last. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. And stolen by Mobley. Rubio against Smith. Outside Rubio. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. Outside for Love. There's the three. And Reed pulls it down. It's tough to get open in this league. And when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. And they're the third highest scoring team in the NBA. Executing at a high level. And we've talked about the beautiful game before. When you think of that term, great ball movement, team chemistry, they both come to mind. And these guys exemplify both to a T with how many assists they rack up. Now here's Rubio. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Mobley passes to Love. There's a screen by Love. And here's Levert for three. It's rebounded by Najee. Najee's got four rebounds now. Pass to Highland. Inside. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. They're being put to the test, and he's doing everything he can to keep them in this game. Now Love. 141 left in the third quarter. And that one's long. I'll tell you what. We know he's been struggling tonight, but his teammates have pitched in big time. Brown with a screen. To the paint. Smith outside. There's a screen. Pass to Reed. Boom! He jams it straight down. You talk about passing. Smith is one of the best in the game in that aspect. An incredible distributor. Outside low. Smith against Rubio. Mobley. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Ish Smith. He took the contact and had an opportunity to trade it. Boy, terrific play there. I thought even with all the contact, he still was going to get that shot to go down. Two. 
They throw good. Mobley. Porter Jr. He's checked in for Reed. And Cleveland with a change here too. Mitchell's checked in for Neto. one misses. Outside Rubio. Pass to Mitchell. Levert outside. Mobley on a screen. Goes back up. Hauled in by Brown. The Nuggets have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. It's a four second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Porter with a screen on Mitchell. The three pointer off the mark. It's Levert on the wing, defended by Brown. Levert outside. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter, and it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big time alley oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. It's the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. The Nuggets trail. Porter Jr. and Gordon at the three and the four. Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pair. And it's Jokic in at the five. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Well, the Cavaliers shooting about 43% on this one. The drive by Garland. And that one good. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. And it's Jokic missing. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Here's Love. And he banks in the layup. Boy, Love is really good at getting inside the paint. Establishing position as an excellent field for how to score around the basket. Now here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. Here's Caldwell Pope. Let's it go from deep. The Nuggets with another miss. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Murray against Garland. Back to Porter. And here's Jokic. Here's Gordon from the arc. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Oh, I like the confidence here. Gordon is excellent at realizing when he has room to shoot even before he has the ball. That's what we call seeing a play ahead. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Love. Here's Osman. Takes a three. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got eight rebounds in the game. Now here's Murray. Here's Caldwell Pope. Order a screen. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Centavius Caldwell Pope. His, his defensive foul. quickness sets him first apart. At the line for Denver. Centavius Caldwell Pope. Taking two shots. Free throw misses. Allen, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. Good on the second one. 
Here's Garland. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Denver has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Jokic passes to Porter. Now here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Jokic calling his own number time and time again. Taking over the scoring load tonight. Pass to Love. Allen in the high post. Garland with the ball. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. And Darius Garland has proven he's a franchise player, Grant. And the upside is still there for him. Oh, wow. He could be one of the best guards in the league when he hits his prime. He gives you everything you want from a point guard. This team was patient with him, and it paid off. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Good from Garland. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Jokic with a screen on Garland. Murray passes to Jokic. Outside Murray. To the left wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Jokic. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Jokic just got 11 points here in the second half. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. Now here's Garland. Pass to Love. Love, a screen on Porter. Outside for Love. Porter with the steal. Now Murray. Jokic the screen. Murray passes to Gordon. Outside Porter. And here's Murray. Down low. Here's Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. Boy, I like how Gordon this is the ball. When his teammates are open, he finds them on time and on target. And he lobs it up top. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's Porter, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Denver. Well, they've had no problem getting into the heart of this defense with the dribble. And they've made the most of their chances there as well. Feeding the post, and it's working for them. They're letting the big dogs eat inside tonight. That's good from Porter. And, you know, when Porter Jr. is healthy, I mean, he's got a lot of game. This guy is versatile. He's got good size. He's a multi-dimensional talent. Now here's Garland. Love, a screen on Murray. Outside for Love. Fires for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Three. And the Cavaliers lead by six. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Pass to Jokic. Shoots over Allen. And another basket for Denver. So far, only one miss out of five attempts. He has been laser focused here in the fourth. The Cavaliers have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Garland, the pass to Love. Back to Garland. Love, the screen on Murray. Garland with the ball. And Jokic picks him up defensively. Offensive rebound. Now here's Love. Fires the three. Here's Allen. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And you know, when Allen gets this positioning, the defense is in trouble, which in turn forces them to commit the foul. Jared Allen. Two shots.
shooting two. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. He couldn't sink them all, but did just enough to make this a two-possession ball game. Murray against Garland. Jokic the screen. Murray from outside. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. Boy, the defense has to respect Murray's range. I mean, there's a reason he's a volume three-point shooter. Outside Mitchell. Draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. But one of the big names on the move this past summer was Donovan Mitchell. Now you figured his time in Utah was up as the team decided to change their core. Could be a game changer though with this roster, even with all they gave up to get him. Free throw is good for Mitchell. And Grant Donovan Mitchell wears the number 45. Not one we see a lot of in the NBA. That's true, B.A. But Donovan's got a good reason to wear it. Paying homage to Michael Jordan. Mitchell said growing up, everyone always took 23. So he went to MJ's return number, 45. Highland, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Let's give it Get a report from Allie. Hey team, I was able to catch the message that J.B. Bickerstaff was giving to his team. He said, guys, you don't have to chuck up the first three you see. Keep your heads up. Keep looking for the best option. Let's see how they respond. Back to you guys. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Free throws good for Mitchell. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. And the Nuggets call time here. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout.
And so here is Denver, trailing by four. The three ball. Denver foul. Contavious Caldwell Polk. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. Cleveland has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Now Garland. Pass to Allen. Outside Mitchell. And here's Garland. Five to shoot. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Porter. The three is up. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Porter's got six points in the quarter. Porter Jr. has a unique combination of size and skill, and as a result, able to beat defenders in the catch-and-shoot game. Outside Garland. Outside for Mitchell. Puts up a three. Denver grabs the miss. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. To the right side. Here's Highland. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. The Cavaliers leading. Pass to Garland. Back to Mitchell. Launches a three. No good that time. Now Denver takes it the other way. Outside Porter. Back to Jokic. To take the lead. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's well, pin that one on Jared Allen. Too big, too skilled. Jokic just methodically breaks you down. He's a very unique player. Two shots. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Boy, it's so much fun watching Jokic do his thing. I mean, he's not uber athletic, but my, is he skilled. He wows you with some of the passes he makes and some of the finishes he completes. Evan Mobley, he's checked in for love. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. This is what makes him special, his ability to come through in these spots. Pass to Allen. Outside Garland. Back to Allen. Now here's Garland. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his second personal foul. 14 foul. At the line for the Cavaliers. Shoot two. Darius Garland. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. Garland hits them both. The Nuggets have gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Now a timeout called by Denver. Hey, nice game. Great performance by Darius Garland. He's getting loose and doing work. They want to talk this over and find some answers.
Here's Porter. Pass to Highland. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. He'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those three throws. At the line for two. He drops the first one, and that ties this game up. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. Huge free throws right there. He's able to put them on top with those makes. Here's Mitchell. Denver grabs the miss. Here's Caldwell Pope. Right wing. Pass to Jokic. And here's Porter outside. Five on the clock. From outside the arc. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Porter. Cleveland has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Outside Mitchell. Allen a screen. Tries to break his ice. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with a basket. Boy, I tell you, this guy just does not quit on the boards. His energy is contagious, especially on the offensive play. Pass to Jokic. And they double up Jokic. Beyond the arc. And connects from downtown. And great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Cleveland calls timeout. They're losing by two. 51 seconds left in the game. One seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Outside Mitchell. Allen a screen. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. Yeah! 
Yes. And tie game. Huge basket right there. Here's Highland, guarded by Garland. Second chance effort. And you have to try to make something happen. I mean, they have to be aggressive at this point, even if it's risking a foul. I agree. I mean, you would have been better off using it on the floor and not on the shot. But the foul had to come either way, so it is what it is. Free throw. He can't sink it, and that was an important free throw. Left a little on the table there, but at least he put them in front. Outside Garland, to the inside. Mobley, no good. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. Sure, it's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. Two shots. Good on the first. And that'll put him up, too. You know, this is a huge trip for Gordon. With the game in the balance, I think it comes down to focus and confidence. Now a timeout called by Denver. They're ahead by two. There's 14 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Drops them both, and it's a three-point game. Question is, now can they protect the three-point lead he's given them? Cleveland calls timeout. They're behind by three. There's 14 seconds left in the final quarter.
There's 14 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. From deep, Mobley. He's off from three. And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. That's his fourth personal foul. At the line for Denver, Aaron Gordon. At the line for two. First free throw is good, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Now, this right here could decide the game. Now, it's all up to Aaron Gordon. He is a cool customer. And so, both free throws good, and it's a five-point game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. Here's Osman. Can drop the tough three-pointer. So, the Nuggets win it. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Yeah, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game. They overcame everyone. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. All right, thank you, Nicola. This team showed up tonight defensively. What can you say about the effort on that end of the floor? I mean, uh, it's a whole collectively, you know, it's uh, not just all guys, the five guys on the floor, and so it's a coach, it's a bench, it's a fan, so thank you, thank you guys, thank you a lot. Thanks to all, thanks to you, Nicola, back to you guys. Thanks, Alec, great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson, thanking you for watching. Now our New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic.